Today I wanted to invite you in the home and the wardrobe of one of my friends, Gael, who lives near Lyon. And I thought you would be inspired by the way she plays with colors, with styles. She's a very inspiring character. And she lives there with her family in this beautiful house surrounded by beautiful and strange objects, insects, and um, objects inspired by Art Nouveau, or just strange objects in general. She has a very specific style. She loves very subtle colors, a lot of dark, and I thought this would be a very nice sequel to my What Warp video I did a few months ago, and that you would be maybe inspired by something similar, but also a bit different. She has a lot of favorite creators, um, artists and uh, jewelry makers that she's going to share with us and she's going to share her favorite pieces of clothes that I think you would be inspired by. We have filmed this video a few months ago and uh, I hope it's going to inspire you. Gail was the very first apprentice magician in wool in my very first workshop in Lyon in 2008 and we have been very good friends ever since. So we are here in Gael's walking closet, one of it. The other is more like a cupboard with all her smaller pieces of clothes, but some very crazy ones too. And here she has all her longer dresses, more crazy pieces of clothes. And she's going to show us what are uh, some of her favorite clothes. Um, the one she really wear all the time in her daily life, in her work, and she really likes so. I'm excited to see what she has, what she's going to show us. So she loves a lot of green and blue because she has green eyes. So she always have clothes which match her eyes. And her two favorite colors are purple and blue turquoise. Yes, yes. Yes. So this one is a dress. Uh, I like it uh, very much. It's made by a French uh, designer creator, which is who is called uh, Maureen. And I've got several pieces uh, of her. This one. This one is really beautiful. I hope you can see it. It's really nice. This one. That's very, very pretty. Which is a shirt by um, Made Ul Soleil. So the same brand I mentioned in my Bad World video, if you remember. <laughs> I like it a lot because of the ruffles. Mm -hmm. That's very, very pretty. And this you wear it every day. Yes, I wear it uh, at work. Um, this one, which is by yeah. Mele Le Soleil 2. Yes, that's another one with beautiful details. I, I like it because um, the color can be worn this way, which is high or down. Mm. And uh, it's very beautiful. You have a lot of details everywhere. And um, this kind of thing on the yes. fabric too. Yes. and the color. And the thing here too, you yes. always have things like that, like some nice uh, ribbons, um, which almost remind you a bit of a corset or yes. something like that. So uh, she has also a coat, we are going to show you that, uh, which is matching the dress. This, this one, one is really nice. I made with oh. a, a friend of mine. <laughs> he, she is now a friend of mine. I met her by uh, when I learned to make it. And um, I love it because uh, oh, of the ribbon. Oh, that's pretty. Look at and that. this ruffle too. Yes. And it's inspired by um, a, a, f a, f a movie, mm -hmm. which is called uh, Secret of Munecker. Yes. Um, yes, and I think it's, for, it's inspired by one of the books by Elizabeth Gooch, I think. And I've read a lot of her novels. Maybe. Oh, <laughs> yes. I will try to check that. But I'm so sure it's I'm not... F Fan. I don't know if it's the world of the movie, but the, the dress and the clothes are very, very beautiful. Yes, it's really nice. I want to see you in this beautiful jacket. A lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to see just a bit yes. all of your other clothes.
do we have here? You have so many things. So many things. What's that? Uh, it's scarves. So I've got a lot of scarves because uh, I like it and I'm fragile of the neck <laughs> in winter. So I wear a lot of scarves. And uh, this one is my favorite one. It's by uh, Sophie Diga. And I love it. It's always... Uh, it's very pretty. Roses. And a lot of other scarves. This one, maybe. You have got one of... Yes, I have them. one similar. Yeah. Yes. There are so many. Oh, this one is pretty too. Yes. With uh, animals. animals. Wow. Oh, this one is really... I adore this one. I love it too. And... Ruffles again. <laughs> <laughs> In this one, there are some western. Uh, this one is um, the OB western, mm -hmm. which was given to me by a Japan friend. What is it exactly? It's uh, you, you put that on top of your clothes? Or? No, uh, it's on the kimono. It's ah, very, very okay. long. It's quite difficult to put. I, I don't know yet how to <laughs> put it, but I love the fabric. So. Oh, it's very pretty. It's not really your colors, but it's... No, no, but it's a um, um, vintage one. So. Okay. And it's about Japan. <laughs> yes, because you love Japan. Yes. It's <laughs> a recent passion, but you love that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this one is the waistband and a lot of gloves too. So yes, a one. lot of gloves with dots. Wow, that's very pretty. And this, you have that all the yes. time. Yes. So you see, you can have this your one. dots all the time. For those who don't dare, you can have that. You can at least have an accessory. If you don't dare having the, some of your clothes we are going to show you, you could at least have some little accessories. This one, which are um, mittens. Yes. Um, Fingerless gloves, I'm not sure. Yes. Which <laughs> oh, they're very I, pretty. I knit them. Ah, you've I done this one? Yes. Okay. And I love them. The color. Yeah. It's very warm. Yeah. And they're not the same. It's interesting. Yes. <laughs> Different. Yes. And uh, maybe this one, which are just without a. Uh, yes, it's just sort of. Uh, put on the arm. Yeah. I don't know what it would be. Ah, I knew it. I knew it because I use it in my workshops. <laughs> uh, wristband. Ah, yes, maybe wristband. wristband. Ooh, very that's very pretty. Wristband. And you have a lot of that. I was yes. not familiar with all these accessories actually for all my life. And um, Gail introduced me <laughs> to accessories and how to use them and how what to do with that. And this is nice if you have, let's say you have a shirt which has a problem in your washing machine and it's slightly too short and yes. you really like it. And you can totally make it work with something like that. Yes. That's really nice. And those, we yeah. found yes. them at my ball counter. And because this Gail one came, too. this one too. He has a ginormous box with all sorts of gloves from the 80s, 70s, I would say, that I have never been touched. That just. You, can, you could put your fingers in yes. your hands. Yes. They look very small to me. <laughs> yes. They are small, but uh, I can put them. Yes. <laughs> the stripes one are really pretty. Yes. Bag. This is your daily bag, the yes. bag you have every day. Yes, it is. So, can you imagine something more crazy than that to go to work? <laughs> so, this bag, um, it's my friend, a friend of mine who saw it on the internet and she saw it of me. And um, it's from Hong Kong, so uh, it opened like, a, like this way. Is this way, <laughs> and it's very huge inside. We a lot of place. I can put a lot of things inside. Is it is it just a big hole, or do you have some pockets? No, there are like no. pockets inside. There are okay. there is a pocket there. What is this beautiful thing? Uh, it's my wet. Okay, <laughs> that's really pretty. And um, there are pockets which one ah, yes, is closed and nice. two other one. And. Uh, Often people ask me if there is enough uh, room inside and uh, yes, there is pl plenty of room.
where you keep all your jewelry, um, really nice and creative jewelry. So you have all these beautiful boxes. Yes. They are all extremely pretty. And you're going to show us some of your favorite pieces. Yes. First, who, uh, where do you find your boxes? Um, it's a um, woman who made them. She lives in the south of France, near Montpellier. And uh, everything she made is beautiful, with beautiful colors and shapes. And she's very nice and sweet. First of all, this brooch, which uh, made by um, Lindy Dourt. And um, she makes a lot of things with um, fabric and paper and uh, beads too. Uh, it's by Victoria and Rehab. There are two people who, who made them. They are near Montpellier too, <laughs> but before they lived in Paris. And uh, everything is made with real uh, butterfly wings, or sometimes insects, or um, dragonfly. And it's very delicate and beautiful. Yes, with necklace. Um, Oh, that's very nice. What is the material of this one? It's all um, cotton. Cotton, okay. Yes. It's uh, made with crochet. Uh, crochet. Mm -hmm. It's not knitted. And the person who made this is uh, Nathalie Grolier. Mm -hmm. And now mm. she makes more with golden things. She don't make this kind of, of necklace anymore. Or few pieces. The dragonfly which which is from someone who lives in the north of France and um, I love her work. It's very I don't know in English Art Nouveau. <laughs> yes Art Nouveau I think we can yeah. say Art Nouveau too. <laughs> this one is um, made by a person who a woman. We we she lives in uh, near near Lyon, near Grenoble, Grenoble I think. And um, I love this one because uh, it can I can open it this way. And inside there is a small bottom. You can put perfume in it if you want. I'm trying not to break it. And um, you can put uh, if I if I achieve to put it out, which is not quite easy. It's a sort of ah, drawer. Yeah, it's yes. a sort of drawer you have yes. and you could put some makeup on. Yeah, makeup you can on. put lipstick in mm -hmm. this one or lip balm if you want. And she makes a lot of very inventive um, jewelry with lockets and um, labyrinths and maze and everything like this. So we have seen uh, quite some of your clothes, not all of them. First, can you tell us where do you find them, where do you buy them? Um, are you ready to spend big amounts of money on your clothes? Or are you, do you have some tricks to find nice clothes, uh, both online and in the real world? So I buy a lot of my clothes on the internet, um, on eBay, and uh, sometimes um, on website like uh, uh, Vinted and um, I also um, buy uh, clothes on garage, sa garage sales yes, yes, garage sales and uh, on in shops uh, of second, second end or where clothes are without marks so the clothes are cheaper so I I try not to spend a lot of money in my clothes and uh, how do you do that? Because you have really nice clothes so you are looking for specific brands when you yes. are hunting for clothes yes. you know already what you are looking for? Yes, um, uh, it depends when it's in, on garage sales uh, I just check, uh, I look at the clothes and uh, sometimes I find some things that I, uh, I think it's quite lovely and I like it so I take it uh, no matter what the brand is and sometimes sometimes I have got luck because uh, it's a brand I love yes um, what are you who are your favorite creators so the one where you okay here I spend my money it's worth it I want to support them too um. 
for the clothes, it's a, a French one, which uh, who is called uh, Maureen, and uh, it, she's the one who made the, the red um, uh, co coat and uh, the green dress, and everything is so romantic, and the clothes, the fabric is is of good quality, and everything she made uh, is very different from what you can find in the stores. And it's very interesting, she has just launched a really nice collection yes. inspired by Highlands. I'm considering trying to find one or two of her clothes there. You just have to be patient because she makes things on demand, yes. so you need to maybe imagine it's going to take two months for you to have the clothes, to receive the clothes. Um, but um, for example, when you wear this spectacular red coat. There's nothing more uh, visible than red in the first place and it's a little red riding hood coat. Yes. What people say when you have that? Do you, do you notice people are looking at you in a different way in your work, in the street, uh, in the city? Well, what happens when you wear a piece of cloth like that? Uh, in the street I notice people are looking at me but as I'm wearing often um, not usual clothes. Uh, often people are looking at the way I'm dressed, so I'm used to it. And then um, at my work, people like uh, often like the way I, I'm dressed. They they say uh, it's quite beautiful. But uh, as Leticia said, uh, they say that uh, they they can't wear it. They are not um, um, bold. Yes, enough to wear it. Brave. <laughs> yes. That's it. Yeah, and you are brave. You have no problem with that. No. And ha, so, you now you are a little later in your life, but as a teenager, as a young adult, how did you, how was it happening with your clothes? Did you dress in a crazy way from the almost beginning of your life? Or is it a process that changed uh, decade after decade or year after year? And when I was a teenager, I dressed like everyone, so I wore jeans. Now I don't have any pair of jeans. Just like me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when I went to the um, college... I, high school? High school, yes. Mm -hmm. um, I began to dress a different way. For the, at the beginning, uh, I was wearing a lot of black. <laughs> mm -hmm. and. Um, we can tell that uh, I was a gothic, <laughs> I think. Yes, it, it exists in, in gothic, yes, you would say gothic, like Ma Marilyn Manson was yes, your yes, favorite yes. singer. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's kind of uh, gold wave and dark wave thing. Yeah. And um, after, when um, I began to work, I was beginning to dress uh, another way. Uh, like, not like I'm dressing uh, Nowadays, but uh, it it it's changing. Uh, the more I I'm getting old, uh, the more it's changing. And um, now I'm very uh, well with it. Uh, there is no problem. I can wear what I want. Um, I wanted to ask you. I I've known you for um, quite a long time now. So I met uh, Gail in 2008 for my very, very first workshop I had in my little home in Lyon. And we went friends, we were very good friends after that. And I very often went to her home, like uh, when she lived first in Lyon, and then now she lives in the neighborhood of Lyon, a little outside Lyon. Every single time I come to her house or to her home or apartment where she lived, she was always nicely dressed. I never saw her in rags, never saw her. She's just like ready to be filmed or I don't know. Just I was surprised at the time because I was dressed in rags as I told you uh, for about 10 years. I, when I was of course working from home, creating things, I had ugly clothes all, uh, all day long really. Uh, when I arrived at home, of course I had my nice clothes that was outside my home and she was doing nothing special, <laughs> but really, in a very elegant way, <laughs> because you never know. <laughs> Can you tell us a little about that? Have you, you never have a, a cloth for inside your home and outside, it's always the same, whatever happens, you, you don't yes. change anything. And now, it, it's, it's the same now. A um, few years uh, ago, maybe 10 years 
or 15 years ago. Yes, sometimes I had clothes that I only wore in, uh, in my house. <laughs> But now it's finished because um, I decided to make a room in my closet and just to keep the clothes I liked. So everything I have in my closet is something I like and I want to wear. To wear so that's the reason why maybe. <laughs> what would be the advices you would give to the ladies who, whatever the age they are, they don't dare, they don't try. What sort of advice could you give to someone who is very, very shy, who doesn't seem to care very much, who would like to be dressed a bit in a different way, uh, but they don't dare, they're just too afraid of the judgment of people. How would you tell them to start maybe doing something different? Um, whatever the age they are, by the way. It can be in your 50s, in your 40s, 30s, 70s. Yes. First of all, you must, I think, you must dress um, as you want to dress, as you feel inside of yourself and um, not to pay too much attention of the, the other who you think would say you are dressed a uh, uh, strange way because uh, people are very kind and nice uh, even if you are uh, uh, um, dressed another way, not like them. Uh, I. I think I never had a, 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 a bad. Someone who told me something bad about my oh, my way of uh, dressing. So, and if you want to start to dress uh, a different way as you are dressing now, maybe you can try with uh, accessories, as mm -hmm. we said, and with scarves, with or with jewelry. The first thing I think is that maybe. Um, more standard, you dress a more standard way and you have a, an accessory which is uh, different mm -hmm. uh, on the color or um, with ruffles yes. <laughs> because I like ruffles, maybe something different and then you will see that people, they will be nice with you. Yes. And I think people are sometimes, uh, they are happy to see mm -hmm. different things. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It took a bit of time to do it, but I'm so happy we had a lot of fun filming it this yes. afternoon in her home. It was, and you see, you just have uh, two benefits. You have a clean home now, oh, yeah. <laughs> which is pretty unusual. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> Um, yes, it was a really funny video and I could see her clothes. Very often I would go to see Ga visit Gail and I would uh, go to see her her cupboard, her walking closet and see what she has new on. It's just fun, a fun way to spend the afternoon. Um, yeah, we, we had a, a good time. So um, write your comments under the video. If you have some questions about what you saw, you will really have the references as much as I can. If you have some, seen something in her home that you would like to uh, know the brand or the artist or the creator because you have a lot of things from creators. Um, yes, um, ask your question under the video and um, if it inspires you to do today a bit more, uh, let me know. I hope it's going to with this second video. I hope you are a bit more inspired to try and uh, let me know if you have some crazy stories ha happening to you in the street or in your area, especially if you live in a place where people are dressed in a very, very classic way. That's, that would be really funny. So I will leave you here. You can subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss the next videos. And maybe you guys are going to, to start some videos someday. We don't know. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we never know. If she starts her a channel or something, I, I will for sure let you know. And uh, yes, and you can give a thumbs up if it inspires you and if you like this one. And um, yes, if I do another in this series, I will for sure let you know. For now, I will leave you here and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye! Bye-bye!